Filled with controversy left I and NOA in different situations after one of the most interesting matches of the tournament. An opening half that was all NOA turned into a complete disagreement after tournament directors overturned the seventh round and beyond. Originally, NOA won the first half 9-6, but three illegal flashbangs under the ramp box on Nuke turned the half in I's favor 10-5. drained all the intensity from the match, leaving NOAs fighting to survive. NOA was only able to manage three rounds before I forced them into the loser's bracket. shot in the winner's bracket finals. One of the biggest comebacks in CPL history took place as 3D took on Gamers Company. 3D jumped up huge picking off the first 13 rounds to start the match. Nothing looked like it could stop 3D as even their players became relaxed. Then the stellar play of Mark Torres and the rest of Gamer's company took over.
Winning the last two rounds of the first half and opening with 12 of 13 rounds in the second half spelled doom and for 3D. mistakes of buying deagles on save rounds and not going back to the impressive AWP shown by Kyle Miller in the first half ended up costing them the game. Gamer Company moves on to face complexity in the semifinals. Whatever we do, we do it together. This is one versus three. We're not losing this.